This is a follow-up to the last video I made where I analyzed 11 dirty Tesla videos. Chris was nice enough to let me use his videos. I found that the full self-driving is about 72% reliable. I wanted to show you what the 10% and 4% of bad and illegal maneuvers looks like so you can have a better understanding of what the full self-driving is not able to perform today. Please believe me, I'm not trying to make full self-driving beta look bad here. I'm just trying to let everyone understand what it isn't capable of doing yet. In my next video, I'll show you all the amazing full self-driving capabilities that it was able to perform. Welcome to Tesla Life. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the video with your friends. And I would appreciate if you'd press that little like button. If you're thinking of buying a Tesla, please use my referral code, Nicholas4590. Here, Chris just rerouted, and before it can make a decision on whether to make that left turn or not, it jumps in front of that other car, which is pretty dangerous. Here, Chris engages full self-driving in a parking lot. Uh, it's really not able to handle parking lots yet. You can see that it can't get a right edge to a lane, so it just uh, has a lot of trouble. Here it has problems with a roundabout. Notice that it can't get the uh, path to go around that center island, and so it just goes right into the island. It has been doing better at roundabouts. On this left turn, uh, it starts up when the light turns green good, but it has a little trouble on the left turn. Uh, the right edge is a little angled there, so that's probably some of the problem. But then it has trouble finding the lane. Uh, line markings just are not very good on this part. Here it's turning into a parking lot, and uh, if you notice the map, it has trouble with its path. It ke its path was... Uh, not correct and so it almost went into the curb. It had trouble with this uh, stop sign. It creeped up real slowly. Uh, now Chris did say that he gave it a little push uh, but then it just didn't stop and went right through uh, the stop sign. At this stop sign it rolls through and never goes lower than four miles per hour. Uh, so it rolls through stop signs. Here in some construction, it gets confused and doesn't know whether to go left or right and uh, got into the left turning lane when it shouldn't have been. Here he disengages a upcoming turn and it moves over into the turning lane. Uh, he takes control, re-engages it, and then again it go tries to go into that middle turning lane for some reason. It seemed like it mapped the roundabout with the cameras really well. You just heard it give the autopilot engagement sound. It seems to do that randomly. Here in night conditions, it gets into the left lane, makes a left turn, and then it has to wait to go across a lot of uh, busy traffic, and it goes uh, prematurely. And the car thought it was time to go, and it was definitely not time to go. So I hit the brake. So weird pull to the right there which I was holding on to. So I got into the left turn lane here. I'm just gonna put on my left turn signal since we have people behind us. I can't just stopping at the stop sign. It does seem to roll them a bit. It does not hit zero most of the time. Um, and it has the right turn signal on, which I'm just gonna turn off because that's not correct. And it's, it's just gonna keep it on. I, I don't know, I don't want that. So I need to bump it up so it can go back to that. And it says it's turning left here. Are we really turning left? I don't think that's correct, but let's... Yeah, so that's not correct. So I'm going to move it back over here. Quick. Okay, stopping. I like to see these messages. Okay, taking its time. So now the confidence is gone right here. There's no confidence. It's not going. It's not asking me to do anything. I tap the accelerator. It's going to move forward. Difficult for the car. And that is really inappropriate not what we want to do. Here it approaches the intersection with a yellow light. It goes straight through it uh, without stopping or hesitating and makes a left turn. I think it could stop here at this yellow light but it goes through it. It's definitely going through a red light. Yep. Oh no, nope, nope, nope. There it goes. Hey, all right. Ooh, this is a tight squeeze. Ooh. All right, that one scared me a little too much. <laughs> it might so waiting for cross traffic, it does see the cars on the other side of the road. Now here is where people argue, should it be moving up to the middle or should it wait back here? 
I personally move up to the middle. I've had comments going both ways. I probably will hit the accelerator here because I don't want to miss. We do have a pedestrian over there, but they are tracked. Waiting for cross traffic. Pretty busy. How will we ever turn left here? So that would have been a good time to go and we're going to miss it again. So the car doesn't move up when the light turns green and you're going to see in a minute he has to force it to get through the intersection because it's not ready. Again, I'm going to make it go if it's not going to go. Yep, so the car's going to miss. I'm going to do that because otherwise we're never going to make it. So here's another example of the same situation. So the other side has the right of way. That was very good. So they were not paying attention, it seems, and they didn't go right away. And our car said waiting for cross traffic. It did not go despite those people not moving. So now we can go and perfectly starts moving forward, but then hesitates. I mean, there is a car coming, so some people may, may drive that way. And then we turn yellow, so we're gonna miss the whole thing. And there is one person behind us that did not honk at us. So that was not a very, I was impressed there for a second, but having missed the whole light, yeah, not as good. So that's where we need to move up when it's green to be ready to turn right when we can. You'll see this time it does it by itself. Okay, so green again. Hopefully we'll actually go this time when we have two cars to wait for. That guy's turning right. We are scooting forward. Okay, and we're going to actually make it through this time. I do got to touch the steering wheel. Here it attempts to turn into a driver at high speed while he tries to cancel navigation. Here it never stops at this red light. It can make it right on red, but it just goes right through the red light. So, can the car handle this? <laughs> I don't know. The traffic lights are out at this intersection. Nope, it was going to go right through. So I'm going to stop. We'll report that one. Left turn lane. There you go. We're back at the intersection with the lights out. It says stopping. So it stopped. Now it should be my turn to go. And he's waving me on. So I hit the accelerator because the car was not moving. And I don't it. This is fine. This is okay or not. I'd rather be in that left turn lane. Good. This is what I want or not. Come on, make up your mind here. This is an intersection at the end of an exit okay. ramp. And then at this point in the video, it actually was going to proceed through this red light. And I tried it twice and it tried both times. So yep, see, look at it, look at it. See how it's doing that? Yeah, so that's not good. So we'll report. Here it tries to get through the intersection. So green, I'll turn this on, but it had a hard time last time. Yeah, so it doesn't, it doesn't know what to do there. We'll keep trying. And now it's handling it. Okay, I had to take over again. Another example of it rolling a stop sign. Whoa, really rolled that one. <laughs> Probably help people around here drive though. So random right turn signal into the right turn only lane. We don't want that. So now the car is going to move back because it realizes it made a mistake. So very strange that it did that. We do have a right turn coming up, but I think we're gonna miss it. Okay, the car is just going to take the turn from the outside lane. Yeah, not exactly what you're supposed to do, but right turn there into the neighborhood. Getting a little close to the yellow line, but nothing I need to take over for. And the car is stopping. I don't know why. There's no message on the screen. So I had to hit the accelerator there, just bump it. so. It and it's kind of creeping to the left there. I don't know why. So I took over. I didn't want that person to my left. Go through. Oh, see, it's that's weird. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just letting it figure it out. There's nobody behind me. So yeah, obviously that was the wrong move. Stop sign in a parking lot, no stop line. Did a good job there, but then it thinks this is the lane line. So that's not correct. I'll, I'll let it do a little. Uh, this guy's coming across the crosswalk. The car is moving forward and I'm going to hit the brake because I don't want to make him uncomfortable. And then we have... Whoa, what the heck was that? That was really sailing through that yellow. Probably should have, yeah, and then it hits the brakes. Probably should have stopped for that. Watching more lately. So, really good. Oh, nope, 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 not good. I was gonna go straight for that barrel, which is weird because it was. Now we're going for the right turn up here. And then we'll try to go, nope, that is not a right turn lane. Getting a little confused there. Doing it. Okay, that was good. A little beep beep saying, you know, make sure you're ready. Oh, and then you missed that red light, buddy. 
Not actually route you through Campus Martius. You might wanna. This is insane. Try like I know. <laughs> nice try. Nice try. <laughs> I don't even know what to do, to be honest. Should I go straight? Uh. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe on the top left and share the video with your friends. My other Model 3 videos are here in the middle. If you want 1,000 miles of free supercharging, please use my referral code listed on the bottom. My Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts are on the right. And check out my new channel, Pickleball is Life. It's a great game, and subscribe on the bottom left. Take care.